Shanghai-based artist Lu Yang is here in New York for her two-venue debut, exhibiting vividly animated, provocative multimedia works addressing subjects such as death, illness, and sexuality. Displayed at Gallery's Wall Play and Ventana 244, Lu Yang's Arcade is a series of engaging multimedia installations, hovering somewhere between fantastical and morbid. Heavily influenced by sci-fi and Japanese anime, manga, and video game culture, the most provocative projects in the series include the 8-bit Cancer Baby video image and jewelry series and Uterus Man a female reproductive organ-inspired, genderless hero who is the subject of their own arcade game, manga panel series, cosplay photo shoot, paintings, and video. Lu Yang is responsible for the majority of her work's production, employing methods such as 3D printing and computer programming, but she also actively collaborates with professionals in the fields of her work's foci. She's not just interested in, you know, appropriating certain things, but she really is interested in exploring areas like neuroscience, um, science fiction, um, religious iconography. That's probably what I like most about her work, is that it's really pushing the envelope, not only of the so-called new media art, but also it's, it's really um, branching into new areas of knowledge. Um, and when you think about contemporary art, it is about knowledge production as well. Participating in this year's Contemporary Asian Art Week through Residency Unlimited, Lu Yang gave a talk about her work, in which she explained her fascination with presenting audiences with a different, often challenging image of difficult subjects. All my works is uh, all, almost uh, related with uh, some bad luck things. Like people, they just want to avoid it, like uh, death and disease. And cancer is the very big thing, like a lot of people just die for it. And uh, uh, for another way, I have so many uh, scientists, uh, friends, and they think our, our body is just grouped by a lot of cells. So the cancer cells is just a part of it. I just want to make the cancer cell very cute and people can't recognize it. I think that art is meant to push the limit and push boundaries and get us thinking and, and to kind of like wake us up in any way, shape or form, whether it's pleasant or not. Lu Yang's works candy and tease are otherwise cautious but firm perceptions of religion, gender, sexuality, illness, and death. And unsurprisingly, they've been met with mixed responses. It's very enticing because you, you see it from the street and it's like bright and all these flashing lights and then you're like, she's throwing a uterus around in the air, you know, and there's like a baby slingshot. When they realize, uh, you know, they're trying on a ring and then they're like, oh, this is so cute. And then you're like, it's cancer. Definitely has gotten mixed reactions from the neighborhood, but I think all in all, people have really enjoyed it. For more videos about the amazing creativity coming out of China, check out our website at sinovisionenglish.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.